Hello and welcome to the tutorial for GoAnimate. Uh, GoAnimate is a free website that you can use to create animated videos. There is a paid version that you can uh, also purchase as a school or personally as well. Um, we're going to just go over the free version today. Uh, if you haven't already created an account with GoAnimate, you can do so at the Your Account button up top where you're going to want to use your Google.net address to create your GoAnimate account. And if you have already done so, you can just go straight to Make a Video. Um, again, there is a paid version to GoAnimate and there is a free version. The paid version will say Business Exclusive over any of the theme kind of tiles that you see below here. Anything without that business exclusive up top is a free game for you to use uh, to create your animated video. So we'll just kind of select one here and we will click make a video. Um, once you get to your main screen for, uh, for your GoAnimate video, there's going to be different tools that you can use to add your characters, uh, to add settings, or to add props. Um, in addition, GoAnimate also does a, a short tutorial if you would like, uh, just to kind of go over the basics of how to use uh, the website. We're just going to go ahead and skip this and get started on our video. Um, some of the basic layouts of GoAnimate, you're going to see your toolbar up to the left here. We'll talk about those tools in a second. Um, at the bottom, this will be your storyline where uh, you can see how your story will progress. Throughout, um, throughout your video. So, um, first thing is you can create your background that you would like for your video. Um, they have a lot of backgrounds to choose from. These are all gonna be free backgrounds since we are in a theme that is, that is free. So we'll, we'll select this one for the backyard. After you've selected your background, you can add your characters. So we're gonna hit the little characters button up here and we, you can add as many characters as you want. Um, we're just gonna do the drag and drop feature to add in our own character. The little phone tab up here is gonna be where you're gonna add your, your props to go with your scene. Now, um, there's gonna be various props that you can use depending on the type of con content that you're wanting to include in your video. Um, really, you know, it depends on how specific you want to get and how detailed you would like to get. Uh, you can also click the others, and these will be additional props that you can also include in your video. So we'll just kind of select something random. And again, uh, GoAnimate does do the drag and drop, so we'll just kind of put a random little Christmas tree over here. And you can uh, navigate your tools, move them uh, wherever you would like in your picture to suit your needs. If you would also like to add motions to, uh, to your characters or to your props, you can do that uh, right in here. This will automatically pop open once you select an object, either your prop, you can see your prop settings, and also your characters. Uh, the actions are going to be if you would like your, your character to move during your animated video if you would like them to sit, if you would like them uh, to stand or to turn different directions, this is where you would add your actions. Also in here, you can add different emotions to go along with your character, whether you want them to be happy, sad, laughing, um, etc. The voice button is where you can add uh, either text or voiceover for your characters. So you can uh, type in the text that you would like your character to say and pick a voice that goes along with your character or you can record the text yourself that you would like your character to say. The enter exit button is where, where you can choose animation for your character uh, either entering or exiting your scene. To exit out of there and to get back to your main tools you'd hit that the X in the corner. The text button is where you can choose different fonts uh, to go over your animated video in the background. Also, you can include thought bubbles and again, drag and drop to your character. And then, pretty simple after that to type in your text, just double click and type in the text that you would like. 
and after that, select straight from there. Again, you're going to have different options to the left over here to go with your text. Um, again, you can do recording to have that text be said either in your voice or in a generic voice that you choose. You can have effects for that text. You can add um, visual effects or transitions to uh, your various scenes below. And then um, also the composition tool. Again, to exit out of here, hit the X up top. And the last tool that you're gonna have is the sound. Uh, you can add different music to the background, um, different music to your scenes, or you can have music playing throughout your entire animated video. After you've created your animated video, um, in the free version, it does have to be 30 seconds or less. If your video is more than 30 seconds, it will not save. You can track your time through this little um, timer right up here to tell you how long your video is. Once you are done creating your video, you can preview it to see how it looks, or you can go directly to the save. Once you click save, you're going to want to give your video a title. So we're just going to type in sample. Um, you can add tags, which will add keywords to uh, identify your video for later use. And then you can decide if you would like your animated video to be private or to be public. Um, generally, you're probably going to want to, make, want to make it public so it's easy for others to access and to view your video. Okay, and after we hit save and share, and this will bring you up to the option to export or to share your video. Now, as you can see, there are some options in here uh, that are only the paid versions, and then there's going to be additional options that you can use um, to still share your video. Once you're at this main screen, this is where you can preview it by hitting the play button, or you can share or export it to whoever you would like to view your video. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on GoAnimate.com and I hope you enjoy making your animated videos. Thank you.